Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this video, we are going to see lead code problem number 131, palindrome partitioning. We are going to solve this problem using backtracking. I'm going to use the first example to solve this. So now let's dive into the solution and logic. So guys, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are going to return the substrings of palindromes. What I mean by substrings. So we need to consider, first we need to consider all of the characters as single, single character. Okay, A is separate one and another A is separate one and another B is separate one. Why is this? Because even if we set a reverse this particular A, we are going to A1, we are going to get A only. Since A is already present, we are not going to consider this one. Okay. Here B is not there. If we reverse B, it's again B, we will be appending B. Okay. So, we are going to use backtracking here. So at the first level, I will have a start index. Okay, the first level, I will be having a start index. First, I will pick A and I will append. Since A is a palindrome, I will check a palindrome, whether this particular element is a palindrome, the particular path is a palindrome or not. I will use a separate function for that in order to check whether my current path a current elements that I have set of elements I have is a palindrome or not okay so since a is an element since I have only a now I just check whether it's palindrome or not yes it is a palindrome I am appending a here in this level okay then if it if it is a palindrome I will move my start pointer to the next one okay start and after start i will only take this part for the next backtracking at the same level okay now this is my start and this stage i will be having a and b only okay here i will be having a and b here i will check whether this particular path the particular substrings are palindrome or not this is not a palindrome so i will return okay i will return so then i will check from this part in the same level okay since the previous a and b are not palindrome right so now i will check only b whether whether b alone is palindrome or not Okay, now I will check whether B is a palindrome or not. Yes, B is a palindrome. Then I will append it in my path. Okay, it is a separate one. Since we are doing recursion here, B is a separate one. Okay. Okay, so we will be having B and AA. So when we do the recursion like that, so when we reach the end of the string, I will append that in my result stack. Okay. All these three will occur in separate recursion stages. Okay. First I will append A, then I will append AA, then I will append B. Okay. Now we will see the code. So I will explain it again. So in the first stage, I will be having A. I will append A in my path. Okay. I will append A in my path. This is my path. Then I will do the recursion. At that stage, I will be having A and B in my... I will check A and B only. Then it will be false. So when it's false, I will append A in my result stack. Okay. Then I will check 
A and A are recursive or palindrome or not. If they are palindrome, I will append that in my path. Okay. Then I will take B alone. Then I will take A, A, B. Since they are true, I will take B, A, A, B. A, A, B is not palindrome. I will return. Okay. Now we will see the code. So now I'm going to write a function backtrack. Okay. Here I'm going to have a starting index and the path that I'm telling. That I was telling. Then I'm going to have a result stack. Okay. So I'm going to check whether my start index, my index have reached the end of the string. Okay. If it is reached, then I will append it. I will append the path. Then I will return. Okay. So here I'm going to check using my start index. Okay. I'm going to check this string. So if I'm going to write a separate function is palindrome. Okay. I will show that. I'm going to check whether my current start index, my current string that I'm checking, substring, is palindrome or not. If it is true, I'm going to increase my index. I'm going to check the next, next character. Okay. Since it is true, I'm going to append that. Currently, I'm going to append that substring to my path. Okay. This is my result. Okay. So I'm going to write a separate function whether is a palindrome or not. Okay. So go to check whether it is palindrome or not. my current substrings. Substring is a palindrome or not. So I'm going to declare the result stack as my global variable and then I'm going to backtrack so initialize I'm going to first initialize as, initialize as zero at the start I'm going to send an empty list for the path and the, I'm going to make it as result then I'm going to return the result so I think it should work As you guys see, it's it's not that much efficient, uh, but uh, the time complexity for this one is uh, two power n. Uh, since we use recursion, we can also you do it in a iterative way. But using backtracking is pretty much easier to read and understand. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future, and also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers.